Hello students, welcome to Prayash Shoji YouTube channel. This is scholarship exam standard 5th online class, subject mathematics and the topic is measurement, length, mass and capacity. Now in this video we are going to cover the exercise 20.2 in our no need digest book given on uh, page number 275. But before this exercise there are the two solve questions also. So we will just make an overview for this one. So first question is there. 10 kg 10 gram is equals to how many kgs now 10 kg and 10 gram so this gram we have to convert in a kg because in options all are given in decimal so 10 kg sorry 10 gram as we know the uh, 1000 gram is equals to 1 kg so this 10 gram we have to divide it by with a thousands okay so now this is equals to the 1 by 100 gram and 1 by 100 means this 0 0.01 kg okay so now this is a 10 kg and plus this kg so this is a 10.01 kg and this is given in option number 2 now question number 2 out of 17 kg of sugar 15 percent each were given 300 gram of sugar how much sugar remain now, total was the 17 kg sugar and 50 persons are there once 50 multiply by this 300 gram so three zeros and then five threes are 15 so this is a gram or we can say after dividing the thousand it's a 15 kg so 17 kg minus 15 kg means remaining is the 2 kg and 2 kg is given in option number 3 now exercise 20.2 question number one 40 kg my minus 750 gram means how much so we will solve here 40 kg means grams is a zero here i will mention gram and here the kg minus 750 750 gram so here the zero kg now 1 kg we will reduce here and that kg we will add in grams with a gram conversion so 1 kg as we know is equals to 1000 gram so here we will reduce 40 to the 39 and adding with a 1000 gram here so it will come the 1000 so 1000 minus 750 it's a 250 and 39 minus 0 means 39 kg so 39 kg and 250 gram but answers all options are given in decimal so 250 gram we will convert in kg by dividing the thousand so it is is equals to the 0 0.250 and this is a kg 39 so 39 plus 0 0.250 so is equals to the 39.25 kg this is given in option number two now Question number two, 360 grams makes how many kilograms? So 360 grams, okay. How many kilograms? So as we know, one kg is equals to thousand grams. So divided by with the thousands. So this decimal point will shift to the three locations. So one, two, and three. So three places shifted here. So 0 0.36 kg. And this is given in option number three. Now question number 3, a sack contains 48 kg of rice, how many such sacks are required to fill 11,040 kg of rice. So now, for this one, we have to make the divisions, means 11,040 divided by 48, because one sack is a 48 kg, so and total kg are the 11,000. 40 so after this division you will get 230 so that much of the sacks is required and this 230 is given in option number one question number four 0 0.09 plus 0.5 so this is a kg plus 0 0.5 gram and then minus of the 120 milligram but here kg and here gram so we cannot be directly make the addition so first of all we have to convert this kg to the gram so it will be um, 
easy to add okay so as we know 1 kg is equals to 1000 grams so 0 0.09 multiplied by thousands okay so three places we have to shift this decimal so one two and then zero and then decimal so means this is a 90.0 gram now here 0 0.5 grams now we can add plus 0.5 gram so it's a 90 0.5 gram now here we have to subtract 120 milligram now as we know 1 gram is equals to 1000 milligram so this 120 milligram we have to convert in gram so for this one 120 divided by 1000 so it is equal to three places this decimal we have to shift it 1 2 and 3 so 0 0.1 120 this much of the gram so minus 0 0.120 gram where to deduct now here 0 and here 0 so 500 minus 120 we can also do so 500 minus 120 it's a 380 so 380 then this decimal and 90 minus 0 means 90 so this is a 90.38 uh, gram and this is given in option number so for question number four option number four is the correct one now question number five 12 articles each weight 250 gram 12 article each weight 250 gram and eight articles each weight eight articles each weight 300 gram are packed in a box the way of the box along with the article is 6 kg 400 gram what is the weight of the empty box so articles weight we will first calculate so this is a uh, equals to the after multiplication 3000 grams and this is a uh, 2400 grams so after addition this one 5400 gram but including these two articles and the empty box the total total was 600 6400 gram with including the box and we have to calculate the box weight so if we are deducting this means both the articles weight from the total weight of the including the box we will get the empty box weight means 6400 minus this 5400 gram so we are getting the 1000 gram or we can say 1000 gram means 1 kg so 1 kg is the weight of the empty box and this is given in option number three now question number six one marble weight 75 grams so 75 gram what is the total weight of the six thousand six hundred such a marble so means multiply by with 600 so now this two zero as it is now six five the 30 zero here three carry so six seven the uh, 42 plus 3 is a 45 45,000 gram or we can say after dividing with the thousand it's a 45 kg 45 kg is given in option number 2 now question number 7 snail bought 3 kg 250 gram of tomatoes and 2 kg 500 gram of the peas how much vegetable did he see wise means total weight we have to calculate now here kg i will mention and here the grams so now 3 kg and 250 grams plus 2 kg and 500 grams now this is a 750 gram and this is a 500 kg so 5, 5 kg 750 gram and this is given in option number one now question number eight what is the weight of the pulses pack in 64 bags each contains 750 grams of the pulses so each weight is a 750 gram and like such a 64 bags are there so means this multiplication we have to do and after this multiplication you will get 48,000 gram means after dividing with the thousand that will convert to the kg means 48 kg and this is given in option number 2 so for the question 8 option number 2 is the correct one now question number 9 
if 132 kg of the wheat is distributed equally among the 24 persons how many grams of the wheat will each person get so 132 kg 132 kg that we will first convert in a gram so to convert it multiply by with the thousands means 132000 of the gram has distributed in 24 persons so means divided by 24 if we do we will get the each persons whatever the amount of the wheat getting in a grams because in question also asking how many grams of the wheat so after this deduction you will get 5500 gram and this is given in option number 4 Now question number ten. A shopkeeper sold forty kg two hundred and fifty gram of the jowar out of fifty kg. How much jowar left with the shopkeeper? So there are total kg fifty kg of the jowar means zero 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 gram. Okay, and out of that one forty kg and two fifty gram two fifty gram of the jowar has sold. So This cannot be possible means from the zero zero minus two fifty. So one kg we will reduce here. It will be forty nine and one kg uh, addition here, but with a gram. So one kg is equal to one thousand grams means here one thousand. So one thousand minus two fifty means it's a seven fifty, and forty nine minus forty it's a nine. So nine kg and seven fifty gram. So this is given in option number four. Now question number eleven. A company distributes Half kg of the sweets to each of its sixty employees. Half kg means it's a point five kg multiplied by sixty employees. So we can say one by two also here. Point five means one by two. Now after this multiplication, it's a thirty kg of the sweets. Then on the occasion of the Diwali, if the sweets were purchased at the rate three hundred and twenty per kg, then what? Was the expenditure made by the company? So to calculate the expenditures, this much of the kg of the sweets multiplied by its rate means its rate is rupees three hundred and twenty rupees per kg. So this kg get can get cancel. So the answer will be in rupees. And after this multiplication, this two zero as it is, three two is a six and three three is a nine. So nine thousand and six hundred. And this is given in option number three. Thank you.